Marta must love the wilds. And nothing gave her more pleasure than to roam through and over the mountains far from the haunts of man. Hunting was her favorite diversion, and it was no uncommon thing for men to hear, far away in the mountains and in the depths of the forest, the baying of the hounds and the cries of the nymphs as Artemis's hunting parties followed in breathless chase the track of the wild boar and the stag. But while fond of hunting, the goddess was at the same time the friend and protector of the wild animals and avenged any wrong done to them. As an unmarried goddess, Artemis exercised special care over girls, as just as young men regarded Apollo, her twin brother, as their guide and protector, so young women worshipped Artemis and looked to her for help in all their difficulties. When it was time for them to marry and put away childish things, they brought their dolls to Artemis's altar and left them there as a gift for the gracious goddess who had shown them so many kindnesses. Artemis was also looked upon as the goddess of the moon. And in some curious way, she came to be worshipped as a divinity of the lower world. In this connection, she was known as Hecate. Various secret rites associated with magic and ghostly things were performed in the dead of night before her altars.